Lately, there's been a lot of talk about smart cities, but do you know what they are? What defines a smart city and makes it different from a regular city? You'll learn about these definitions as well as an explanation of smart cities on the Future Lore channel. So welcome back. In general, a smart city is a city that uses technology to provide services and solve city problems. A smart city does things like improve transportation and accessibility, improve social services, promote sustainability, and give its citizens a voice. Though the term smart cities is new, the idea isn't. Ancient Roman cities used elements of the concept, such as using technology to make their citizens' lives easier. Aqueducts and water drainage systems are just two ways they did that. To understand what a smart city is, it's important to know that smart in this context doesn't refer to a characteristic that defines the city, but rather a tool. But it's not just about how citizens benefit from the services the government provides to them. A key element of a smart city is valuing citizen participation. It's centered around the idea that citizens create the city, not the other way around. The main goals of a smart city are to improve policy efficiency, reduce waste and inconvenience, improve social and economic quality, and maximize social inclusion. Cities use this tool to collect data in real time about all kinds of things, including traffic, air and water quality, and solar radiation. With this information, the government can act immediately to solve nearly any problem. Some of the best known applications of this tool include installing sensors in the streets that identify things like empty parking spots and traffic jams, estimate how long the next bus will take to arrive, and measure air and water quality. There are even others that address environmental issues, like sensors that detect the number of pedestrians. The sensors can reduce the amount of street lighting when there aren't any people around and thus save electricity. Barcelona, for example, created a new intelligent bus network using data about how passengers were using public transportation. This new network is more efficient and gives 95% of the city's residents access to a high-performance bus service. The new bus network provides better and more frequent services. Bus stops are also well connected to other transportation networks. The city also uses GPS sensors to improve urgent medical services. Traffic lights detect ambulances and modify their output so that emergency services can move through the city as quickly as possible without creating dangerous situations. Another app that gives Barcelona residents a way to improve their lives through technology is Bustia Ciutadana. Using the app, they can send information about issues like broken stoplights or overflowing dumpsters. That way, the authorities can send out a team to fix the problem as soon as possible. Then you guess why smart cities are important, but here we say it anyway. 54% of the world's population live in cities, and this is expected to rise to 66% by 2050, adding a further 2.5 billion people to the urban population over the next three decades. With this expected population growth, there comes a need to manage the environmental, social, and economic sustainability of resources. Smart cities allow citizens and local government authorities to work together to launch initiatives and use smart technologies to manage assets and resources in the growing urban environment. Why do we need them? A smart city should provide an urban environment that delivers a high quality of life to residents while also generating economic growth. This means delivering a suite of joined-up services to citizens with reduced infrastructure costs. This becomes increasingly important in the light of the future population growth in urban areas, where more efficient use of infrastructure and assets will be required. Smart city services and applications will allow for these improvements, which will lead to a higher quality of life for citizens. Smart city improvements also provide new value from existing infrastructure while creating new revenue streams and operational efficiencies to help save money for governments and citizens alike. This all sounds great, doesn't it? But like everyone, smart cities face challenges too. For all of the benefits offered by smart cities, there are also challenges to overcome. These include government officials allowing widespread participation from citizens. There's also a need for the private and public sectors to align with residents so that everyone can positively contribute to the community. Smart city projects need to be transparent and available to citizens via an open data portal or mobile app. This allows residents to engage with the data and complete personal tasks like paying bills, finding efficient transportation options, and assessing energy consumption in the home. 
This all requires a solid and secure system of data collection and storage to prevent hacking or misuse. Smart city data also needs to be anonymized to prevent privacy issues from arising. The largest challenge is quite probably that of connectivity, with thousands or even millions of IoT devices needing to connect and work in unison. This will allow services to be joined up and ongoing improvements to be made as demand increases. Technology aside, smart cities also need to account for social factors that provide a cultural fabric that is attractive to residents and offers a sense of place. This is particularly important for those cities that are being created from the ground up and need to attract residents. But despite all the challenges and plans, cities across the world are in different stages of smart technology development and implementation. However, there are several who are ahead of the curve, leading the path to create fully smart cities. These include Barcelona, Spain, Columbus, Ohio, USA, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Hong Kong, China, Kansas City, Missouri, USA, London, England, Melbourne, Australia, New York City, New York, USA, Reykjavik, Iceland, San Diego, California, USA, Singapore, Tokyo, Japan, Toronto, Canada, and Vienna, Austria. And for the end, here's a summary. Creating smart connected systems for our urban areas provides a great many benefits for citizens around the world, not only to improve quality of life, but also to ensure sustainability and the best possible use of resources. These solutions are dependent on a unified approach from the government, as well as the private sector and residents themselves. With the correct support and infrastructure, however, Smart cities can use advances such as the Internet of Things to enhance the lives of residents and create joined up living solutions for the growing global urban citizenry. We'd like to hear your comments, so please enter them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to be notified when a new video is online. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and see you again soon.